The Beatles song Something is one of the most popular songs written by George Harrison. Likely, he was unable to succeed on his own. George was taught a musical trick by another rock musician from the 1960s which helped him write Something. Something was unlike anything George had written before, according to John Lennon's later comments. Folk psychedelic rock musician Donovan rose to fame in the 1960s with songs including Atlantis, Hurdy Gurdy Man, Sunshine Superman, Mellow Yellow, and Season of the Witch. He is well known for having been to India with the Beatles to study meditation. George learned a descending chord pattern from Donovan, according to Donovan's own website, which the Beatle would subsequently use on the song Something. In a 2024 interview with Record Collector magazine, Donovan talked about his influence on George Harrison. I became George's mentor for songwriting, Donovan recalled. He was in the shadow of John and Paul for so many years and I said, look, I'll show you a few tricks, how to encourage the songs. There's a way to encourage the song to come, he added. You can tease it, like fishing. I told him how to play a chord, then put your ear on the guitar, listen to the open chord and try a tempo. You can hear melodies, believe it or not. Melodies appear, but you've got to be quick to catch them. Also, when Donovan appeared on an episode of the South Park show in 2004, he explained how his playing style inspired Lennon to write Dear Prudence. He revealed, when we were in India, John said, how do you do that? I said, what? He said, the stuff with your fingers. I said, it's a pattern. Three days later, he had learned it and a whole new world opened up for his songwriting. Dear Prudence, won't you come out to play? Donovan had terrifying events similar to the Beatles. Donovan achieved his fair share of notoriety, even though he wasn't as successful as the Beatles, because nobody was. All of the experiences that accompanied his celebrity didn't sit well with him. The Catch the Wind actor likened having to flee from his admirers to a scene from A Hard Day's Night. There were moments when he thought his fame was dangerous. It was horrible, Donovan said. During the big shows in America, the DJs would come on halfway through, in puce lemon green and bright red costumes, and ask if people were enjoying themselves. Then, as soon as the last song was over, they'd turn the lights on, say goodnight, and get in their cars. And what would happen? The whole audience would swarm towards the stage. That became a big problem. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that was Ringo, folks. <laughs> well, what can I say? And goodbye you know. to all of them. <laughs> Well, this is Ringo. Everyone seems to have said everything here, so I'll just sign off by saying cheerio and best of luck from the Beatles.